born in Jamaica, grew up in partly Scotland, that's why my accent's a little off. And I um, came back to Jamaica, my mother died, cancer. My father then got oh, Alzheimer's. So I was stuck here for all the Trump years and the COVID years and so on. So I decided to make myself useful. I came here to the beach because I'd been told about the beach for about a year by a friend of mine who grew up in the area. So I ended up coming here eventually. At the time, it was a little bit more quote unquote sketchy. So some guys approached me, what are you doing? I said, no man, I'm here for good reason. I'm gonna bring a lot of kids because I'm planning to bring praying those. You know, again, a new form of tourism, call it scout tourism. So that's how I ended up here. So I made some suggestion to the old lady you saw here because she was selling the food. And I said, why don't you put up more benches and cabanas and do this and that? They did that, more people came, it started to pick up. So then I said, okay, you know, let me do some promotional videos. So a couple of videos are on YouTube now. I had some friends come shot, you know, nice angles on the beach, all that kind of thing. So at one point I said, well, you know, maybe you should invest here in a little bit and, you know, add a little section, maybe develop this building. So on. she said, oh, no, 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 we can't do that. Then we'll knock down the building. I said, knock down the building, why? And that's when she began to explain the whole legal issue that was under, you know, the pending demolition of this building. I didn't know anything about the, the history of the Rasta or anything, nothing about that. But I, I said, well, who's engaged in this? And she said, well, there's her nephew in England, but she can't reach him. Communication difficulty. I said, does he have WhatsApp? Yes. So I pulled out my phone, got him on. Then I'm talking to him. Then he's like, boy, we really need help because he's over there. And there's another guy involved helping, but he's in New York and they have nobody here to help. So I said, okay, fine. You know, I'm an advocate type of guy. I'll jump in. What's going on? And he explained everything. And he said, they're trying to take away, you know, beach access. And then I was like, whoa. And then I thought of all the little kids I saw coming down from the garrison on the front end there, who would no longer have the space to access. And I'm all about the children. Right. You know, I've lived my life. This is my dedicated mission here. So I was like, I got to get involved hardcore. I don't believe the government or media care what the Jamaican people think. What they care about is what tourists think. And I went I, uh, online and started the online petition. This is their entire livelihood. They've grown up here from children to adult generations going back who were facing everything gone. And so I said, no, nah, man, it's not going to happen. And I said, don't worry. You know, Bob Marley is coming to save you. Once again, because if this was Richard Dennison Beach or George Mount Beach, nobody would give a damn. It's Bob Marley Beach, and I know I can work that angle. 